so in this video I'm going to show you how to change the domain configuration from Amazon web services to point to a new name server to to point to another hosting where we have our website or oh, we're going to eventually have a website so this is uh, the information for our hosting and in this information we have the name server information this is where we want the, the domain to point to so first of all we have to come here to the Amazon console uh, we're going to go to the service where we have registered our domain names so we click on route uh, 53 and we go to register domains and at the moment we have two domains we have smartbusiness.com and smartbusiness.io we're going to click on the first one just to show you the process and then we're going to do the other one next day so when you click on smartbusiness.com you have the general information about this uh, domain and here in this side of the screen we have the name servers these are the name servers used by Amazon by default so what we need to do is we need to add click on add or edit name servers and once in here once in here I'm going to just copy and paste this because if I want to come back and use them I'm gonna have have them in my notes so I'm just going to copy and paste Um, and after that I'm going to delete all of them and I have a warning that says that domain must have at least two name servers and those are the two name servers we have here this is the first one and this is the second one So this is the information where this domain is going to point to to find our website. So we click on update and this is going to take about one minute to to be changed here. Uh, as you can see we have a message that says your request for update name server was successfully submitted. You will receive an email when it's done. We, we basically need about one minute to for the changes to take effect so if we wait one minute you're going to see that and another thing that we can do in the meanwhile while we wait for this one minute for the change to be applied is to go to github or github repository and find a fresh copy of the website in this case we're going to use this one which is our website these are the files that we already know and we're going to download a zip file uh, I already downloaded the website and I have it over here smart business and then I clicked on extract to smart business uh, that I owe dash master and this is what happened it created this folder here with all of the files that we have in the website uh, this is basically the website and I'm going to show you how to upload them to the cPanel I'm going to refresh the page just to see if the changes were applied and as you can see we have the new DNS the new name servers uh, if we go to this and um, we open a new tab and we go to smartpieces.com we're gonna see that we have indexes up and we have this uh, directory over there which is forbidden uh, and it's because and I'm going to show you why it, we are seeing this in order to, to explain you or to show you why we're seeing this we're going to go to the cPanel I have all of the information 
for the cPanel over here and I'm going to show you how to see that we copy this URL and we paste it over here we're going to access to the cPanel we need a username and a password and that's what we find over here I'm going to copy and paste all of that Okay, and I'm going to log in so in this section you're going to see the file manager option if you click on there you're going to see all the folder structure and this is where we're going to add the files for our website do you remember we used to see this directory over here this is why we we see that we see it here because it's what we have already here in the hosting so what we need to do is we need to add an index over here uh, I could probably show you if I say index.html and create a file um, maybe if I click on here and go to edit I'm going to use this one I think just because I want something really simple uh, let me see there it is if I click uh, and I make something like this and I say hello world and save changes so now now our website is this file that we're here we have here so we go here and we refresh the page we should see that file so there you have a message hel yeah, the hello world message that we added here so what we need to do is to replace this file with the ones that we uh, have for our website we can do that two different ways uh, we can you remember that I have the website here in a zip file well you can click on upload select the file go here and click on open and it's going to upload all those files in there once it finishes because it's going to take a while when it's when it's done it's going to appear over here and you then click on the zip file and click on extract it's going to extract all the files and then you're going to have all your website uh, ready to be used to be served uh, there's another way to I'm going to cancel this to show you a, a different way and uh, if I click here I think the window is going to be closed because yeah so we're back here so the other way to upload a file is to use FileZilla and use the FTP protocol I'm going to use that one so in here we have we, we need to use the host the username password and the port we need to fill that with the information we already have here so for the host use this IP address and uh, we type it here username all of that is here okay here I don't want to change the windows too much but I just want to make it clear in the port, port the default number is 421 if you want you can type it okay this is the same port uh, if you don't want you don't type it and it's going to do it anyway you uh, click connect and it's going to start connecting to the server and this is these are the folder structure that we see here in the in the C panel. If we go to public, this is where we want to go. 
we can see it over here public HTML double click double click and as I told you this is the server and this is my computer these are files that I already had with uh, never mind so we're gonna have to find our smart pieces website and we're going to choose all all the files and we're going to we can drag and drop them over here it's going to try to, to connect and it's going to make a copy of all of these files files into the server I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you when it's done just going to transfer a lot of different files okay so once everything is uh, finished all the files are on the server now and you just have to go to the website and refresh the page and this is what you'll get your website fully working so this is just restarting everything um, well this is it you're gonna have everything in place all your files I'm not I'm not sure that everything is working like all this form already but in case they are not working we are going to just uh, do simple modifications on the code so this is it for the moment if you refresh there's the sub a, a button here to refresh let me see what it is I don't remember reload this one you're gonna see all of the files you just uploaded and there, there you are so this is it for today I hope you have learned if you have any question just let me know and I'll be happy to answer you all your doubts so I'll see you then